It is the 13th of May 2021. A very good morning to you. My name is Ram Maguko. As always, it's a pleasure being with you each and every Thursday. This is Power Talk. Thank you very much for keeping it Y254. Thank you for keeping it Y uh, uh, Power Talk. Today it's all about separation. This thing called separation. What is it all about? Why do we have increased cases of separation? In the recent past we've had data coming up that nowadays separation has uh, you know, uh, increased drastically. What could be the reason? Do we have any loopholes in marriages and relationships that need to be filled? Today we dwell into this particular issue on this thing called separation. What is it all about? Kwanini watu wanachana sana sana. Remember, um, these uh, increased cases of divorces affect both family, both um, you know, children, uh, relatives. It affects people in different ways ways separation has led to even killings if you look at uh, the recent um, happenings or, or what has been taking place in the country due to separation some end up killing each other they say if you cannot be with them then you cannot be with any other person should that be the case what is the particular problem this thing called separation this is part of today i am joined by jose kama video kama drama uh -huh. <laughs> Baba, karibu sana. Asante. If you remember ile mambo kama video kama drama, na ujai jua nani anasembanga hiyo kitu. Ni huyu huyu mse. Ni huyu mwenyewe. Kabisa, kabisa. Huyo maneno ulisemanga the last time tulikuwa pamoja nikuza hiyo swali. About kwa nini ulikuja na mambo kama video kama drama? Ni nilifanyika ukasema hiyo? Nilisema kuna kaisi ndio kalifanyika. Ilikuwa pale kwa ndio kwa barabara, si? Ilikuwa tana za chini mahali gedhurai hivyo tu. Marisasi. Watu wa saba wakawekwa chini. Na hapo ndipo Jose alitoka chini ya gari. Na kangoa hiyo neno ni kama video, ni kama <laughs> drama. <laughs> Uyu mse. Mm -hmm. uh, he is with us in studio today. Jose Drama. Mm -hmm. He is an, uh, an, an artist. Yeah. And also does counseling with people. Uh -huh. Karibu sana Jose. Thank Asante. you for time. Asante Buda. Karibu sana. Pia mimi. We, we, um, if you look at our social media platforms, we also were supposed to have Dr. Robert Osoro, who is a, a counseling psychologist. He will, if uh, he finds time, he will join. So he may join us a bit later on, but the show must continue. The hashtag is Power Talk Show on Twitter at Ram Aguko and at Y254 channel. Ensure that you engage with us, participate, keep tweeting, and keep texting. Remember, last week, we also had a competition right here because Y254 turned four. And in order to appreciate you for being a loyal viewer, for making Y254 to reach the level that it has reached, we gave out cash prizes, airtime, bags, t-shirts, pens, you name them, to people, uh, you know, to our loyal viewers, including you. So and all you had to do, right on Power Talk, we asked the question to, uh, for you to name four male presenters of Y254. What will you imagine up with the more you comment, the higher chances of winning. I'm proud to say that someone is, uh, you know, is lucky. And today, that person, we, we will be calling them uh, at the end of this particular program, and we will be awarding them with 500 shillings worth of cash because Y254 has stand for courtesy of you. And I'm going to call him right this minute, Upper EV, or live on studio, live on air, Uko towards the end of the show. But first of all, let's head over to this conversation, this thing called separation. You say? Yes. When in this quiz, what are you doing? 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 Watu wanawana sana katika mambo ya kifamilia. Mm. One thing, uh, kwangu nigitaka kusema hakuna upendo. Ule upendo uriisha wa kitabu. Upendo haku haupo. Upendo na inabadilika. Does love change? Inabadilika. Yani, mimi kama jose. Mm. Uh, for example, nikona mtu wangu pale. Mm. Naangalia chenye ya konacho. Na ya naangalia chenye ni konacho. So hakuna ili love ya mababa zetu ama wale walikuwa pale mbele mm. love imeondoka sasa hizi kume kuwa ni kama tunaangaliana what do you have what do you have? ni kama kupimana yani mm. so upendo wa huko na ni, ni, ni kulea ndio imebadilika is, is it that the upbringing has changed um, you know why is it that you know nowadays it's it's like that venye umesema vitu zimebadilika ni uh -huh. watu venye wanalelewa ni tofauti ni watu venye watu wanaona tv mingi you know you see you just watch a lot of movies Someone watched a lot of movies and decided to, you know, um, murder people because of a, muji, um, a movie that they watched. Uh -huh. Sometimes, in a 
uh, social media inachangia mm. lakini sana sana hii maisha tunakaa maisha iko na matatizo sana tuko katika hali ya jua kali mm. uh, for example uh, kuna hii covid ime, imekuwa Mm. kumekuwa na cases mingi watu wamekuwa separation yeah. sometimes mapato iko chini mm. sometimes maisha iko chini so unakuangalia wewe kama breadwinner hujakuja na kitu uh, kesho yake hujakuja na kitu uh, mimi tena nakuangalia ule mwingine na, uh, tunaangaliana so live imekuwa hakuna hakuna maisha imekuwa chini na ni lazima nilete kitu ndio ukue na mimi is, 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 must i give you money It's not a bust. Uh-huh. But unajua sasa watoto wanakuja. Baba baba umekuja na nini? Labda mahali umeshinda hujapata kitu. Mm-hmm. So unakuta uh, mtu anapata stress anasema sasa nitaenda kwa nyuma na nini? So unakuta mambo iko ile tu siku kwa siku hakuna mapato. Nikuja mm. kwa nyumba wewe ukiwa mtu wangu, mama wa watoto, yani unasikia kitu na unaniongelesha vingine ma uh, baba fulani amekuja na hii, baba fulani amenunua mtoto wake baiskeli, wewe unakuja na nini? Wewe ni mwanaume wa aina gani so unakuta vita inapiganwa hapo yani hakuna ile upendo wewe huna mimi sina so inakuwa separation uh, ile uh, kitu uta, utafikiria otherwise nikubaliza unakuta kifo imepatikana so break up imekuwa kwa hivyo the foundation of marriage eh <coughs> inafaa iwe nini kwa uh, haswa kwa sababu <coughs> uh, mtu amesema hawezi ona kama bwana yake kama bibi yake ameleta kitu kwa meza uh, hey. lakini wengine uh, hey. wameleta kitu kwa meza uh, hey. inamaanisha that was the foundation enye bila hiyo uh, hey. basi utuvunje hii ndoa sasa boss foundation inafaa ikuwe nini basi foundation ina style kuwa rough either ukue uko nayo ama ikuwe sina so ina style kuwa love ikuwe tu ina exist kila mahali wewe we, um, i'm aware you are, you are married you yeah, are married so, for you uh, hey. in your marriage uh, hey. um, what is the foundation for you that you laid that imefanya ukuwe na uwe na bibi yako all this time okay to say this wacha niseme kwa maisha yangu sasa mimi experience ya kwangu mm. um, mke wangu tu amelelewa tu hapa Nairobi mm. lakini tukishikana in that courtship nowadays watu hawakangi kwa courtship unaona mtu leo kama one week uh, love inakuwa na unaleta mtu kwa nyumba na mnakarishana so you are supposed to have your time kwanza usome uh, your partner alafu yeye anisome mm-hmm. then you agree what you are going to be you, going you need courtship you need courtship na kwa hiyo courtship ndio unasema um, also dating is it the same is it dating yeah is the same dating yeah yeah haya hiyo kujuana kujuana how long ndio mkalele mkalele your foundation uh as to rejuana kama Andreas then we read the foundation mimi nikajua weakness yake na yeye akajua weakness ya kwangu akajua maisha yangu ni hasula so ni yule ati inaweza kuja leo nipate ya unga kesho nikose kesho anaweza wekelea tukunywe chai haina maziwa so anajua lakini nowadays Uh, ile generation iko ya sasa so mtu amelelewa uh, na bread na maziwa ajalelewa na ile maisha ya ugari asubuhi <laughs> ile uji so unakuta ile ya kwenda mashambani ile ya mash- mashambani so unakuta hiyo life mkikuja kwa nyumba ni kama you both of you you are yani hamko grown up vizuri maana hata kijana kuachana inakuwa rahisi inakuwa rahisi maana hata kijana analelewa na ile bread na maziwa na asari na nyama so akikuja kwa maisha yako yake akose inakuwa vita na itabidi sasa mtu okay. so you advise me someone uh-huh. wait for for long mi, miaka tatu hivi msomane kitambo muoe angalau msomane It... so, utapata utapata mtoto bi, bi, before hata muoane uh-uh. huh? kama mtu anakupenda would you mess up would you like you know um even get tired of each other mtachoka kwa sababu mmezoeana hata kabla muoane ah ah uwezi choka it is good to unatulia kwanza kama hamko mnajua na kitambo si ulikuwa unatulia kama hauko pamoja na yeye kwa nini sasa ile umempata unataka kuboa within one month ama one week no you are not supposed ati unachukua mtu leo umemaliza shule within two months umeona umepata watoto hasa ni kama mko watoto wawili kwa nyumba so you are supposed una keep your time as a man as a ready mm-hmm. i think that, that that is a good in family si ati una rush mm. ni vizuri ku rush lakini si tena vizuri ku rush unakuta it is good a marriage katika marriage mm. tunastahili marriage haiko inafanyika kama ya nowadays vile tunafanya nowadays wazazi wetu walikuwa wana keep time na mtu akijua ameolewa ni for life lakini nowadays people are looking for things 
naangalia vile wewe uko vile mimi niko kwenu vile kuko Mm-hmm. Na unakuta marriage has work. Mm-hmm. Now this imekuwa separation is too much. It's too much. Yeah, it's too much. Um, na nikiangalia venye maisha imekuwa siku hizi. Uh-huh. Um utapata uh-huh. mtu anataka kupeleka msichana kwa wazazi. Uh-huh. Itafika kiwango gani ili ukue sure that huyu atuizi achana. Uh-huh. So kwa sababu atuizi achana huyu anaweza mpeleka kwa wazazi. Uh-huh. Hata ni aibisha, uh-huh. hata ni fanya niwe na ile maisha mbaya. Uh-huh. Kwa sababu if you look at um, how um, nowadays things are uh-huh. and you can you can uh, uh, support me if if you if you believe in this too uh-huh. that before you take that person to your parents uh-huh. you must have weighed uh-huh. who they are yeah. if they will support you mm-hmm. if they will not embarrass you uh-huh. because kuna ile aibu yenye utaki if they will not leave you uh-huh. for sure who you uh-huh. tutachana uh-huh. in a fight if iwe hivyo in a fight like uh, usome mtu kama two years mm-hmm. before muambie two years, years. ndio muambie ni mtu wangu sia tu unapata mtu mahali pale ama mlikuwa unasema ni classmate wako wa shule na unamchukua na unamweka kwa nyumba this is my wife na mnapata watoto you must have time marriage is not for kids atunakuta mtu 17 years 18 years unasema you are father you are mother no you are supposed to be mature ndio useme unapeleka mtu kwa nyumba yako before he uh-huh. before she get a child mm-hmm. so marriage it was meant kwa mtu mkubwa it's not for the kids ama age ndogo mm-hmm. kuja ni kama ile kamchezo ya brikicho ama ile kamchezo ya watoto <laughs> kuja 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 pata potea uh, utakuta mwana si wako baba uh, wow. uh, the hashtag is part of show tell us what uh, you think about it remember i said dr robert osoro will be joining us ameungana na si karibu sana daktari asante sana najua hii corona imekuweka kwa barabara sana hii imekuwa kazi ngumu sana mimi na lomu corona tangu ya saa moja jameni Hey, nimefanya kuacha gari barabarani. Pole. Kikwe poda. Pole. How are you? I'm good sir. You're good? I'm good. I believe the the, the, the mic is good we can continue with Robert Soros. Sindio? Sindi sindi ro. All right? Ah. Uh, so okay. Dr. Yes. You've heard what uh, Jose yeah. amesema. Yeah. Wewe wewe mnasema kama video kama drama. Mm, ndio ndio kama drama. Kama drama unangoa. Mm. Kama yeah. kama drama. Drama. <laughs> so he has said mm. that mar- marriage is and relationships break up easily nowadays because love is just not the same. Mm. Do you believe so? Yeah, I believe. Mm. And uh, we have some factors that which makes that to happen. Mm. Because you know during our uh, the time of our dads, mm. it was not all about money. It was not all about the, the the competition with the neighbors, but it was all about you. Mm and the, your husband the wife and the husband mm-hmm. but nowadays uh, like, like what he was saying uh, your wife can come and say uh, uh, so and so they put a new tv mm-hmm. yeah. so and so they are doing this and this mm-hmm. you know when they talk about that what does they mean they mean also you should do for instance uh, it is uh, 2020 during the covid 19 mm-hmm. it has taught us a lot of things that the only marriage that has survived during this period that means that's a true love as much as they are passing through challenges in life so you believe that during this period of covid mm. um because we saw increased race, uh, rate of uh, violence yes gender-based violence uh-huh. increased um if a marriage was able to survive corona during this period during this mm-hmm. period then mm-hmm. that marriage is strong it does not mean that it's strong but at least it has uh, made uh, each other to know mm. who you are who she is and uh, some did not manage to mm. move uh, this period of corona mm. even though we are still in some they could not manage but uh, we knew that like those who could not manage they were not in for it they were in for maybe due to some reasons mm. uh, i cannot only re- underline the finances mm. but also can be part of it yeah <laughs> people do not really want to um, engage much uh-huh. and there's something that uh, he said mm-hmm. that we need to date for long should that be the case no i, I think for that eh, mm. Mm, i may not or i may agree but also it's not about uh, you know marriage is not about how long that you date mm-hmm. and it's not all about how short that you date mm. it is about the promises that you make you know what determines the marriage to work is that 
what was the core factor? What was the consideration when you were getting to that marriage? But does not everyone make promises? You claimed an idea. And our promises we, too. Yes, we make mm -hmm. promises. We make promises. But you see, what happens, what exactly do you need from that marriage? Ni nini haswa unaitaji katika iyo ndoa? Kwa sababu, inaeza kuwa we ulijingiza kwa ndoa kwa sababu likuwa unaitaji mtoto. Nimeona wengi ndoa sikifunjika wakisema unajua mimi. E, nilikuwa nisha pata mtoto hata nikiishi peka yangu kwa niko nini labda uliingia katika hiyo ndoa kwa sababu we ulikuwa unahitaji mume mm. kuna wengine waliweza kuingia hiyo ndoa kwa sababu walikuwa wanahitaji fedha au support they, they actually their life was uh, intimidated or their life ilikuwa na changamoto fulani maybe umefutwa kazi au una hela ya kulipa nyumba kama ni mwanaume au mwanamke vitu kama hizo Laza ulipo ingia katika ndoa, ikawa umeingia kwa sababu eh, auna ile, ile, ile uwezo wa kujistamiri. Sasa wakati uliyeza kupata kazi, ama wakati uliyeza ku, 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 kazi yako uliyeza kurejea, sasa ume, umesimama uh, kikwako ki ama kipeke, sasa unasema sioni haja ya ndoa kwa sababu naera, naeza chilipia pills, naeza fanya kila kitu, nini tena inanyoka katika ndoa? Um, then, the still kuna swali nilikuuliza the foundation do ameguzia si ndio au kuwa you are not there when he was talking about it but i'm i'm glad that you've mentioned that the foundation of marriage but people marry for different purposes si ndio ameguzia hapo hivi the reason why people marry nowadays is not the same as kama kitambo it's not the same because what to this generation ile tuko kwanzia 20 mpaka 35 people are marrying because of na kuangalia vile wewe uko either uko na kitu jamii yako iko namna gani mm. ama tapelekana wapi mm -hmm. lakini nowadays watu hawako after love love imeisha nakubali kabisa yeah so naangalia ile kitu wewe uko nayo mimi niko nacho yeah to me alafu jamii yenu ni gani Mm. What so, do you have to put on the table? Yeah. Unafanya kazi wapi? <laughs> uh, unapata una pesa ngapi kwa mwezi? <laughs> so, sometimes inakuja mpaka tribalism. Mm -hmm. Wewe ni kabila gani? Wewe ni kabila gani? Mimi ningetaka kuwa kabila hii, kabila hii. So nowadays people are what to call chip katika mawazo yao. And, and this is why we need to have this conversation. Mm -hmm. You want to marry because of tribe. Yeah. Unasema mimi siezi wao wa mkikuyu, siezi wao mjaluo, mm -hmm. siezi wao mkalinjin, yeah. mkisikii, uh -huh. atimuluya. Uh -huh. yeah. <laughs> now see, I mean, like drive what, what uh, Jose, Jose is saying eh, mm -hmm. about that uh, foundation is very strong. Eh? Uh -huh. In one of my classes that I normally take through through the pre pre counseling uh -huh. before marriage. You normally have classes. Uh -huh. uh, pre marriage, you pre counseling. Or pre marriage counseling. Yeah. Uh -huh. You know, me, I've just differentiated them from spiritual one mm -hmm. because many marriages they break because zile ambao wanafundishwa katika kanzani na wajungaji na nini mm -hmm. tumekuja kugundua uh, peke yao waziwezi kufanya. Mm -hmm. Lazima kweli muzimame mzeme ukweli mm -hmm. kuwa we need a professional counseling. Ya kwanza unawanzia, wewe tunawana. Ni nini asua unafikiri na kufanya uweze kuolewa na mimi au unyeze kukuoa. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Because kama ni mtoto siku utakosa mtoto kumpata katika hiyo ndoa utaenda. Uh -huh. Kama ni pesa siku itaisha utaenda. Na kama, kama ni kazi. upendo hmm. siku upendo utaisha utaenda. Na unaona wengi wanaingia kwa sababu ya upendo uh -huh. na wakati upendo unaisha wanaondoka. Kwa hivyo mm, ujue mm, ile kitu mm, ambao uliingia mm, nao kwa ndoa kama haiko. Mm -hmm. Imagine mm. you are two different people. Uh -huh. This is somebody coming from maybe western mm -hmm. and the other person is coming from eastern mm -hmm. then now in between amuna ata prat lakini unapenda na kuliko your brother your sister mm -hmm. imagine there's a line in between you you are here as a husband and the wife no prat so what makes you to be together either job business marriage baby mm -hmm. you understand mm -hmm. now mm -hmm. when this thing will end mm -hmm. the marriage will end so in the foundation you must agree so some singi and all in a five nini Inafai we ujue nini likuweka katika ndoa. Umesema hapo. Ni mtoto. You mentioned there. Eh. If love. Eh. <laughs> kama ni upendo. Kama upendo miisha. Si upendo kiisha. Kwa sabu ya maybe six pack. Eh. Kwa sabu maybe una dress vizuri. Si wana wana eh. wana sikuizu kwa sabu ya upendo. No, ndiyo sasa ulize mtu. Mm. Hii upendo kiisha. Jameni. Unafikiri itakuwa aje. Sasa muweze kukubariana. Nambari ya piri. Ulizana tu. Unajua kuna vitu ambao katika spiritual we don't take them. Eh, the, when people, two people have been courting mm. and dating. We don't take them true as a spiritual or pastor or parents whereby in professional we take them 
Mm -hmm. Wewe umeingia, umekupata Nairobi, nilisikia ndugu yangu akisema Jose, hea ni yao mkweka alikuwa naishi Nairobi. Mm -hmm. Rabda probably alikuwa amechikalisha na she had some staffs. Mm -hmm. Maybe amefanya hata investment, hata Rabda kuna gali yake. Labda Wewe kuna gali. Mm -hmm. Sasa munapo Rabda kuwa nayo. Mm -hmm. Munapo patana lazima muagri. Wewe tukihawana. Hii gali tutafanya aje tuhuze au na hizi viombo konazo kwa nyumba utumia wazazi wako ili tuweza kupaki hivo au tuchanganye. Ili mweza kutengeza mzingi kapsazwa, wakati mnaanza maisha, kama mtakubariana kila moja, uame pali ulikuwa naishi, ame mali alikuwa naishi, muishi pamoja, na hizi vitu mulikuwa nazo, mepi mupeane mandugu zenyu na dada zenyu na wazazi, muanze maisha upia. Then, iyo itakuwa wakati, we, we have, you have what you call the negotiation power. Mm -hmm. When the separation needs to come, now you have to negotiate. You know, we did both of us this. Mm -hmm. Now, you can't live like that. You know, some people, they are in the marriage because of the properties they invested. They are mm -hmm. in the marriage because of the children. Mm -hmm. And that's why many people are dying in that marriage. People are in the marriage because of maybe they are not able to, to, to move on because of the finances. Mm -hmm. Now imagine people are do, dying in abusive relationship, in abusive marriage, because they cannot be able to stand uh, uh, on their own. And, the, and, and these are some of the reasons why people leave. Mm. Uh, or separate mm. because the foundation was weak. Yeah. Msingi mm. ambayo muliweka. And uh, I, 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 when people are um, starting a relationship, mm -hmm. how much should they share with each other to predetermine the longevity of the relationship in a way that I feel like I have shared what is enough mm -hmm. And I don't feel like I've shared too much that mm -hmm. can may, may harm me. Kwa sabu neza ambia mtu siri zako na ikuje ikuumize badai. So how much in a full share kiasi gani na mwenzako mkipanga mm -hmm. kuishi pa uh, maisha pamoja. In a way that hata mkiachana mm -hmm. kusawa. Lakini how mm -hmm. siya tina unapanga kwa chana. <laughs> Ampangi kwa chana. Uh -huh. How much do you share, Jose? Uh, let me say uh, ukipata two time mzuri na mtu mm -hmm. i think that is a better uh, it's not at mukae two months muingie kwa doa mimi for my life mm -hmm. na vile nimeona uh, wale walikuwa bele walikuwa nafanya so they have to at least time kidogo like one two years mna juala mnafugua roho if haita work share kila kitu jimwage unajimwaga lakini pale kuna mahali uwezi enda kushare uh, ambao kama nasema we ni mwanaume mm. uh, na mimi ni mwanaume so sharing mnaweza share mambo za life za jiwakari uh, tunasaidiana vipi kibiashara nini lakini pare kwa bed mm. acha kufungua roho Juhu, wanaume wengi saa hizi ukienda pare kwa bed unafukifungua roho mkisha ingia pale love ni kama inavunjika unakuta sometimes mwanaume akiangalia naona ai huyu kama tulimaliza si kitu so i, I think uh, that your bedroom hapo sasa your bedroom una mm. staili kupafungia ukienda pale kwa marriage mkiingia kwa nyumba utakuta sasa but wewe uh, unadvocate what were date miaka 2 3 hivi kabla wa 1 uh, staki kusema hivyo lakini si sana ti mnapatana pale kwa street to man ama tulikuwa tunasoma na wewe shule kuja ingia kwa nyumba mm. no wazazi wetu hawakufanya hivyo mm. ama wale wako mbele ama wachungaji kama mchungaji hapa rafiki yangu mm. hata ukienda katika christianity life ah uh, you have to be unaambiwa na mchungaji this is the time kwanza mjuane counseling mm -hmm. I, I, i think amesema kitu kama hiyo mm. peer pressure ya wazazi saa hizi nowadays inatuma kijana aseme ah wacha tu niwe maana mzazi amekwambia hey, wewe umegrow hapa kwa jiko saa hizi uko na 35 haujaoa so hiyo pia pressure ukipata tu na ule msana pale kwa street kuja tukarishane no like a christianity ama saa hizi tunaishi mm. it's not high time atunachukua mtu pale unamweka kwa nyumba tupate watoto no ndio wacha kama mchungaji ama ile ndini huko i think watu wanaka time mnasomana mnakaa mm. mnajua vipi na vipi Na hiyo muda unasema miaka miwili mitatu hivi. Mimi kwangu najipatia. Wow. Lakini kuna mwingine labda mchungaji. Mm. Yeah. Lakini daktari umesema I, I, you should not take that long. No no what, what I'm trying to How, mean, how to much me. do you share? You know, what I'm trying to mean eh? You know in dating doesn't you know we have a knowing each other we have a dating we have courtship all those processes. Mm. But it doesn't have a specific period of time that you need to 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 date mm. whether it's two years five years but what it means that you should have 
quality time and mm. the maximum period of time that you feel like now I know this person. Do you we, share? We, 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 we can date. Do you show them your nakedness? By that time, that's uh, metaphorical. Do you uh, do you share with them uh, your secrets? And, and I think there is two questions. Eh? One of the one of the comment was from Joseph, and one of the question was from you. I would like uh, to expand. Mm. Like you know, um, I as a professional counselor, we call things by name by mm. itself. Mm. For instance, you talked about do you share? You know, you must be very specific what to share, the love, finances, or sp which area. Because sharing, it's in many areas, that's one. Mm. And another question from him, he talked about that uh, there are some things that you should not open, more especially in the bed. He should also, I could like to understand well, wakati mnaanza kudet before muwane kurana pamoja. Taza hapo ndiyo ningependa rabda weze kufafanua. Nimesema, hawacha nifafanue. Katika muko labda ina dating, ama courtship, meka labda two years. Don't agree, atuambia msichana, hey, leo nimesikia kama kuna kunanyesha na ai tumekaa wewe ni mpenzi wangu sio kuja leo tulale pamoja no as a woman or as a man all yoyote to either you are christian or not a christian don't agree in other words saying avoid sex before marriage avoid sex before marriage now that that is that now he has come very clearly no sex before marriage now what about discussing sex before marriage <laughs> you see, no, you, you, you actually, it's, it, it, it's, it's advisable, you can discuss sex before marriage. You can discuss. Yes, but now you cannot have sex before marriage. But and again, mm -hmm. now there's another issue. You know, now here I don't want people to judge me from my perspective uncle of a pastor. Mm -hmm. I want them now to judge me that I came here in the perspective of a professional counselor or a psychologist. Mm -hmm. uh, there is a case, uh, Tulieza Kuizikia, like uh, you mama kutoka... Nyanza alikuwa meolewa na sema Uyu wa meajana mze wake muimbaji Kasema unajua mini ilikuwa katika indoa Kwa miaka kuminatiza Mzee alikuwa ni timizi katika mambo na ndoa Sasa unajua kuna mazuari mingi Ambao watu najiuliza Hii miaka kuminatiza kama uliheza kuimaliza Je Ungeheza kuendelea That means people are coming out with Different excuses Number, number two hmm. Kuna watu wanaingia ndoa. Kwa mfano, we have like a gospel artist. Uh -huh. uh, I, could, I could ask it, maybe she, whenever she is, she has just allow me, mm. Jerry. She got to a marriage like today and she said that it will never work. She got married. But since you are allowed to divorce or separate within uh -huh. the 24 hours, and actually that's what she did in less than 24 hours. Now tell me, what is this that she saw on that within 24 hours, in that night, because the following day, she said no. Mm. That she could not see in the dating period of time. Then now that supports him that maybe we need some more time to date. But not more, we don't mean in terms of more mm -hmm. or the period, but mm -hmm. we mean of the quality time. Uh -huh. We are meaning mm -hmm. of the quality time. Uh -huh. And uh, now when we are talking about, uh, about like, uh, uh, you, you are talking about sharing. Uh, sharing here, I'm trying to imagine, that uh, you are talking about sharing about your secrets. Mm -hmm. that, that, that is what you mean when we talk about sharing. Yes. Now, uh, th th we have come to realize also that uh, men are uh, very loose to share secrets. They, they, once you find if it's your wife, you give fully to her mm -hmm. and you share a lot to her. Mm -hmm. But now we have come to realize that most cases when you share with your wife, more of your private. As actually, when you come to the spiritual uh, fathers, the pastors, mm -hmm. let me now remain here and the, the psychologists, mm -hmm. they normally tell you, share everything with your wife, it's one, it's your, your heart, it's all. You see, that thing has affected many men because women, they use your weak point to finish mm -hmm. you. Mm -hmm. And in the, in the, in the, in the so-called world, People do not uh, actually agree with men. Uh -huh. Today, you kichapwa Joseph. Mm -hmm. Na utandikwe na wenda kusema kwa umati ulichapwa na pipi. Uh -huh. Na pipi atoka sema alichapwa. Uh -huh. Nani atakubali karaka? <laughs> kichapwa atakubali karaka alichapwa. Kwa hivyo, uh -huh. the, the law does not support men. Uh -huh. Leo imu kikosa na mke wako, aenda tangaza aseme ukuweza kufanya hili na hili na hili. The so-called men who actually their marriages have failed, they are the same people who will be priming you. So what I'm trying to bring on point, you should not share everything. You should have a certain percentage of sharing. Now, um, as we continue, um, uh, let, let me just sample a few of your feedback on Facebook. I'm seeing uh, Sam Ndunda, and Sam Anawo, uh, he, he's watching. Thank you very much to Kevin Wafula, Manuti Msani, 
mm -hmm. uh, Bramwell Boke Kedi, and I saw watch from Kawangware, Evans Budi, and I saw watching from Migori, uh, Slavian Okuku Wamlolongo, and I saw my Kondani Dani Dani, Ra, uh, Razbashir Were Busia, and I saw watching our tough 40 Jesus, Jesus Busia, mm -hmm. Alice um, Abia Nyo, and I saw Noma Sana. <laughs> right. Um, Bitange Hosea. And as the current generation haitambui good values, but what they are forgetting is they are next in line. Ladies will say how they are married to their men, not to a subgroups, na kufri mod FB. To me how both women and men, our original plan, love mm -hmm. and not what pleases the eye or ears. Wewe. Mm -hmm. dipo. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much, everyone. The hashtag is Power Talk Show on Twitter at Ram Maguko at Y254 Channel on Facebook Y254. Mm -hmm. Go to our page, drop a comment on the comment section there. We've posted a picture there. Drop that comment. We shall read them as you continue. Bitangi amesema kitungine nzito sana that the current generation are itambu good values, mm -hmm. and we are forgetting it. Yet we miss how that they are the next in line. Kuwana mm -hmm. kuyokuandoa. Mm -hmm. Now. I'm looking at this perspective of uh, marriage in, in that when people want to get into a relationship, mm -hmm. they forget that when you start, mm -hmm. marriage, will, uh, you know, marriage and that relationship will be so, so nice. Once you know, you know, I love you, messages, nini, long calls, you know, uh, long texts, you chat, you know, 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 you you know, 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 because ata kama mnachana, kuna wakati mulipendana. Uh -huh. Kuna wakati mulikuwa mnatamaniana. Uh -huh. Sasa hampendani uh -huh. na ham, uh, uh, you don't want each other. Uh -huh. What should you do to avoid separation? Kwa chana. Jose? Uh, let me say, uh, diyo muavoid kwa chana. Hmm. You need ile love ya muazo. Hmm. Ile love ya muazo. Unajaribu kumaintain. He or she, jaribu ku maintain ile love. Jaribu ku maintain zile vitu muli. Uliona, diyo chukue huyu mtu. Ile kitu wewe uliitikia ni kuhoe. Mm. Ile kitu uliona. Unaitikia. Wacha kusema ati nimezeeka, nimechapa. Mm. Uh, si, siwezi kazi sana ya kitanda. Siwezi kazi hii. Sina nguvu kama kitango. Uh -uh. <laughs> ati tukipatana nikiwa kijana. Mm. Nilikuwa na nikona nguvu. Kila kitu nilikuwa naenda haraka haraka. Mm -hmm. Wacha kusema hivo. Ile kitu ilikuwa mpia. Ebu kioni hata kikizeeka. Mm -hmm. uh, I think wazazi wetu wanatuangalia pale. So, our mother and our daddy. Uh, kab kabla tusikie vita, hawa wazazi wakitambo tulikuwa tunaka. Si kama na wadeis. Tukiwana kama three years. Unasikia ngumi ka, ka, ka. Meno wakuna. Mm -hmm. Sometimes, visu mpaka bibi na chikuwa kisu. Sometimes, anakwekia chakula. Mm -hmm. Pare, chakula anakwekia dawa diyo malize. Mm -hmm. Unaona? Yeah. Then, other things unakuta. Mm -hmm. Uh, saizi kijana mm. ameangalia pale ameona skati kipita hivi mm -hmm. kaskati kabao kwa kipita mm. ya kijana tu wanafunikuwa na migu pale mm -hmm. anakosa kuelewa anaona bibi yake hamema skati ya ni lefu yeah. so anakosa kuelewa ile migu ndiyo <laughs> hakuna kitu mpia migu ni ile ile ni ile ile sura ni ile ile jamani hey, lakini wanaume hey? sifetu kuna shida hey? wanaume sasa unaona hey? yungu uro na nitafautu na bibi yako na bibi yako Unaangalia una kama labda mungu ya bibi yako mm. labda squeeze metani mechapa. mechapa. And you know sometimes yeah. because of birth yeah. unapata mwanamke amezaa. Uh -huh. Sasa ile you know during that high, that time of pregnancy there is that blood pressure na panga inapanda uh -huh. ngusa zingine inaanza kufura. Uh -huh. And you know the body begins to change. Yeah. Um, you know you are no longer that slender lady. Uh -huh. Umenenepa. Ume ile time ilikuwa. Eh. Kwa sababu ya ya, ya kuzawa. Uh -huh. Umemzalisha watoto. Sasa akupendi uh -huh. na kutaji sababu anasema wewe mwili wako si kama ya kitambo. Ah mwili wako anakuambia lakini ah, eh? unajua naweza sema hivi pia. Ah. Eh si pia hata ule mwenye umemwangalia alishasaa labda na mwili pia umebadilika. Wacha ni sema ni tabia tu fulani na sio sisi tumeianzisha. Ah. Hata pipiria imeandikwa kuwa mwanaume aliumbwa tu kwa kuona na mwanamke aliumbwa tu kwa kukubali. Ah. Kwa sababu mwanaume mm. anything you see mm -hmm. you appreciate. You are just appreciating uh, umbaji wa mungu. Una, unaelewa. 
<laughs> lakini sasa unapo take ile step kwenda kusungumza mm. ndio what is the agenda eh? ni nini ambao inakufanya u, uweze kumsimamisha huu mrembo au msichana utaki kusungumza na yeye mm. alafu pia mwanamke unajua wakati anakupa masikio mm. ndio inamaanisha ndio mwisho wake kwa sababu akisha kupa masikio sasa yale maneno ambao unasungumza ya determine mm. uh, the, the outcome of uh, what you are talking about mm. but let me say this uh, when it comes to marriage uh, mm. and the reason why i think uh, sinafunjika sana tunapotoka katika maybe foundation tuseme umeweza kuangalia foundation vyema mm. ni kwa sababu ya ya, ya ile majibishano kwa nyumba unajua uh, kuna vile uh, ukiingia labda umechoka unaanza kum kumjibu mke wako kwani uchafanya hii na mna hiyo unaanza tu na ile matuzi au kuongea kwa sauti ya juu mm. e, na wakati mliona mwanzo hukuwa na ile na labda inafika wakati sabu mke wako akiingia kwa vitu vidogo tu ameona na atazungumza kuulize chinzi vilivyo anaanza tu kusema Hey, ni kama siku hizi unafanya mama au ana kimya ukiingia tu anajibu tu vile anapita pita anaangusha vitu unaona anachapa watoto sasa unaona mzee pia siye ni mjinga ni kukimia tu lakini unaona kuna mabadiliko mm-hmm. sasa inakuwa mm-hmm. tuseme communication barrier inatokea mazungumzo yanakosa na kuna swali nikitaka kukuuliza dadi mm. uh, uh, doctor mm. uh, turudi mahali pale baba aliposema mm-hmm. uh, saa hizi kuna watu wanauliza uh, saa hizi au uh, hawa tuaskat ni wengi mm. wacha ni waita ladies mm-hmm. so unakuta mwanaume mm. anaambia mke wake kwa nyumba mm. uh, wewe siangalia uh, mtu fulani ama mama fulani mm. ako na boma kama tatu hebu mm. nirudishie hapo kama mchungaji mm. kama dr suju mm. saa hizi nowadays men are taking kama three wives <laughs> tofauti mm. uko kule kijambi uko kule dhika uko kule kisumu mm. is it good maana saa hizi Ebu tujibu hapo. Sioa bibi wa pili. Eh maana ndio inaleta tatu. Ndio inaleta shida unakuta mapigano iko. Maana labda mzee analala kule kesho analala huku. Na sio ali tukisema ratio ya ladies wako wengi. Sasa unakuta pale mwanaume <laughs> na kama unitambui pale ati niko na nguvu pale kule kusema kama siwezi kupatia watoto. Sina mimi ni jijari juu ladies za oh, ladies ni wengi. Eh. Sasa w- mimi nafikiri uh, naweza uh, sema utajibu uh, 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 to share with Let's take a break. Yeah. Yeah. Let's take a break. Okay. That's a very good, good, good question. Okay. Because I believe all men we are wondering what uh, uh, what should you do? Mm. Uh, all women are also wondering what do you do? Mm-hmm. Is it okay also to be married as a second wife because mm-hmm. your first husband left you? Mhm. Aha. Uh-huh. That is a question. That's another question. Yeah. <laughs> that be a, is it okay to be a second wife? Ile mm. wa kwanza ni kuacha na si ati unaweza pata mwingine viraisi. Unaweza kwa bibi wa pili. Let's take this short break we'll be back in a bit. Keep it wild talk. Keep it wild 254. Why 254? Imagine. Part of show on Twitter. At Ramoguko and at Y254. Remember, Y254 is turning four. Y254 at four is the celebration that we are having right here on this particular station. And thank you for being our loyal viewer. Later on, towards the end of the show, uh, we shall be able to call uh, the, our winner for last week and award him. I am with Jose Ndrama. Vindio. 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 <laughs> <laughs> I'm also with Dr. Robert Osoro. <laughs> Thank you so much uh, mm-hmm. gentlemen for being with me. Mm-hmm. Before we went on that break remember we were we are talking about this thing called separation. Mm-hmm. How can we avoid it? What leads to separation? Who is who is the problem? Is it the man or the woman? Why do we have increased rates of separation? Go to Facebook, go to Twitter, keep your comments coming in. The hashtag is Power Talk Show on Twitter at Rama Guko and at Y254 channel on Facebook Y254. We've posted a question there. We've posted a question there. Uh, we, um, and uh, we would like you to go to the comments section, drop in your uh, thoughts there. I shall read them as we continue with this conversation this particular morning or this particular afternoon. Mefika sang up. Yeah, this particular morning. Uh, the hashtag is Power Talk Show. So, um Ulolozo lingine muhimu sana before we went on, the, on, on that break yeah. um, about mwanaume kujenga nyumba. Uh-huh. Ulikuwa umesema mwanaume anajenga nyumba moja hapa uh-huh. alafu anajenga nyumba ingine, nyumba. Na nyumba nyingine kitui. Unakuta mwanaume wa sasa mm. uh, mke anamwambia yeye umekuwa vuguvugu. Na yeye mwanaume maana anataka ku dimension yeye ni mwanaume. Mm. So lazima aingie kwa jengine ya mkato. Mm-hmm. Atake ku prove yes si vuguvugu. Sasa anatafuta bibi mwingine. Hai nowadays nowadays i think life iko hivyo na kuja separation mauaji jiwe uko na boma ya kwanza ya pili hasa wewe ukijaribu wewe ukiwa kale kadogo mm. jaribu kusema yeye hey, staki nimejua uko na mke mwingine 
hapo unakuta mauaji like the other day we see like kwa, kwa news it happened unakuta mwanaume ako na bibi wa kwanza lakini kale kingine kamkata ukamwambia hii nimejua kwa nabii mwingine vile alimkata mm. alienda kampasua na kamaliza tuliona kwa news and mm. so men are having ni kama karata ni kama karata, ni kama karata. Un, un, unajenga nyumba huku unajenga uh-huh. nyumba kwingine unajenga kunyumba kwingine na sa zingine the wives know maybe uh-huh. and sometimes they don't know uh-huh. yes dr soro nafikiri eh, aswa katika nikisema kuna mambo inafanya tu mwanaume aende kuyafanya ile maneno hmm. because uh, as a normal man he cannot move out of his house and then go to have another house you, if you are a normal man Why do I say this? As I said first what you call communication mm. has, has become the barrier in the house. Kwa sababu amupatana na mke wako wakati mnaposungumza kuna vile mnachipishana kwa nyumba, masungumzo yameenda murama. So mwanaume anaona wacha nijaribu hapa nje. Anapojaribu sababu uh-huh. mwanaume anatafuta mahali pa kutuliza akili. Na azua mwanaume anataka atulizwe yani asipewe mawazo aliumbwa namna hiyo ataki stress ataki mambo mingi na hapo hapo ndo pale kuna shida mbona acha na kwa sababu bibi yangu ni kelele kelele sasa anatafuta mahali hapo na kelele na wakati mwanaume ameenda nje na ule mwanamke anagundua kwa mwanaume ameoa kwa sababu siku hizi wanaume wanapoenda nje anasema azua mimi nina mke kwa hivyo kama tunaanza kuendelea uziano ujue kwa nimeoa So now wale ule anaposikia umeoa anajua you know now they are looking for married men because they know they can take responsibility they have children mm-hmm. and they are taking responsibility then now the man sticks with the other woman because the other woman he, she treats him very well because she knows that this man ameoa ni siku mtuliti vyema atafanya nini ataenda ataenda uh-huh. kwa hivyo anamtuliti vizuri anamshikilia sasa inafika wakati wanasaa labda mtoto mmoja wawili ule mwanamke anarudi tu vile vile huyu pipi yake wa kwanza aliyokuwa sasa unapata tena anatafuta kwingine kwa hivyo mwanaume anaweza endelea kutafuta miaka yake yote asipoelewa mm. kwa hivyo eh, ni nini tufanye wakati shida kama hiyo imetokea wacha kukimbia nje kaa na mke wako wacha pia pipi aziwe kierehere wacha kusikize lakini na wadays mm. uh, even pastors even mm. other people's mm. politics mm. Uh, kuwa saa hizi wanawake wawili mm. sio tisho saa hizi mm. ukiangalia most of percent katika mitandao mm. wanaume wengi mm. wako either two ladies ama mm. three ladies maana ile mm. tani tulisema hebu mm. turudi mahali pale katika mwanzo mm. tulisema ukataka kukaa na mtu wako msomane mm. sometimes na kuwa one month unakuja kwa nyumba mm. haujajua weakness za kwangu sijajua mm. weakness za kwako mm. so unakuta nowadays mm. men's mm. na nikwambie our doctor Mm. Ata una is agree na mimi. Mm. Saizi mwanaume hakuna mwanaume saizi labda 10%. Mm. Wanaume wengi unasikia ra, ra, 10%. Wako na pipi moja. 10%. Wana, nini? Wako pale pale wako na wanawake either nyumba kama boma kama mbili ama tatu. Mm-hmm. Unaona? Na, na, does the same also apply to to, to, to ladies. Unapata mshana mm. kuna huyu mwanaume huyu ni huyu yeah. kunipeleka out, huyu mm. ni wa kuni, kunilipia rent, huyu uh-huh. ni wa mambo ya kitanda, huyu ni huyu ni wa picha ya, ya social media. Si ndio hiyo. And then the ladies wamekuwa na hiyo. They have wameja watu wameja na rust. And mm-hmm. no one no one that people separate. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and this that, thing that, called separation. That, that is what actually I was saying, eh? As mm-hmm. I was saying, you know, if we talk about marriage, we saw other media personalities here. Uh-huh. Who are in a relationship I won't mention for five years. Uh-huh. They have even a kid. They uh-huh. wedded with a big wedding uh, everything. Uh-huh. But they just stayed one and a half year and they separated. Uh-huh. And they took five years in a courtship. Uh-huh. Is it now, five years not enough? Now let me let, let, let me um, get into that particular issue of now separation. Um tuseme umejaribu uh-huh. and uh, imekata ime imekata. Uh-huh. Ime You've tried but it is not just working out. Uh-huh. Now that this person is saying that you must separate. Uh-huh. What should you do? And how peaceful can separation be mm-hmm. ni lazima watu wakiachana mm-hmm. iwe vita kelele mm-hmm. na fujo mm-hmm. dr sir sio kwa sababu mi huwa nashauri watu wengi aso wanapokuja katika ile tunaita sessions ni vizuri mnaachana kwa amani wakati mnapoachana ujui ya kesho kwa sababu mara nyingi mwanaume mnaachana ndoa unafikiri kuna mwingine mzuri labda kwa sababu mlikuwa naye mm. unapoingia pale unapata ni moto na waka kuliko ulipokuwa mwanamke pia anaondoka katika ndoa 
anakutuzi ana, ana anaongea vibaya kijua siku na mumura na niongesha kwa sababu unajua wanaume watakuongesha kwa sababu wanakuwa na kuandoa na wanajua kuna your husband who provides everything yeah. so sasa ukienda pale unaenda with your full responsibility with your full needs now the man will be full responsible then unaona mwanaume ameheba kwa hivyo wakati mnaachana ni vyema muzituziane kwa sababu uena mkarudiana tena na uji wenyu mlio weka nje oh unajua mume alikuwa afanyi kitandani au oh, alikuwa anafanya hii huu mke alikuwa hivi sasa mshajianika nje sasa kurudiana inakuwa ni vigumu sana kwa sababu because, because you exposed your you nakedness exposed, to your friends uh, yeah you have exposed your weakness you thought that they would help you your friends will never help you when you're going through separation should you confide in in your a family a relative you know a, a friend who should be your confidant I think it's your family. If you are married by in church, you are you are you are you are spiritual of, uh, pastor that means the the one aliwasimamia haruzi. Mm. Na if pospo mwenye aliwashikanisha, then the parents becomes number three. So you must be a best friend. Ah, muna. Wao ni kuharibu tu hata ulifanya vyema ukatoka ile ndoa. Hata ulikuwa ukufe pale. You know you know you know a good thing is about today is that we are having a conversation with people who are married. Uh -huh. mm. And we have gone through hata kuna time yenye karibu hata muachane. Kama unaachana na mtu, hiyo process inafai inafai we vipi ndio kusikwa na kelele because we don't want to have noise and people killing each other because don't, don't go to that point of you know killing your friend because of separation. Uh, I agree with the doctor. But ni me disagree. Kuna but Ah. Kuna bata i disagree. Mm. Yes. Hamwezi kuwa pamoja mm. nimependana mmefanya kila kitu. Mm. Mimi nimekupatia maisha yangu. Mm. Nimekupatia life yangu tumelala, nimekuta mm. pale ukihanywa na mtu mwingine. Mm. And sorry to say this. Mm. Nimekuta na another man kwa kitanda mm. ama ukihanywa nijue message na nini na nini. Mm. Nikupate. Mm. Alafu useme ati tukuje pole pole ati kuna kuliana kwa pili. No. Mm. Sasa hizi nowadays mm. doctor. Mm. Kama nimekupata hapa kama nikuseparate. Mm. Hakuna anga separation ati tumeachana leo na hiyo iende mm. utasikia ile pain kuna vitu umetoa kwa roho yako mm. kuna vitu wewe umenipatia umenizaria it will be heavy it will be heavy mm. so hiyo namna ya kuachana tunapigana ngumi nipe mm. nikupe unachola kumaliza huyu na chola hivyo ni sawa watu kupigana sasa si sawa lakini mm. hakuna separation na kuanga ati ah kutoka leo tumeachana mm. ama twende pale tu side marriage yetu hapana kuna magumi lazima watu warushane na hiyo magumi kujaribu nikurushie ndio unakuta kifo ina happen <laughs> dead oka mm. maana naona kama nastahili kukumaliza ndio hiyo pain mm. labda ulikuja nikakuandikisha kila kitu mm. ukakuja kwa roho nikakuamini Ah, Bara haifai kwa hivyo. Unajua issue inakuwa haifai kwa hivyo. Haifai kwa, kwa sababu eh? si eti wengi wetu tukiwa hapa because we are professionals hatujai kwa sana hatujai eh. wajana. Hapana. Eh. Huwa asua ni unajua mwanamke kitu nimegundua as a man never try to to prove a point. Nobody needs your proof for of any point or your ego. Or your ego. Once you have separated, just go in water. Be silent because women will go out will say nimekuwa nakulisha, nguo unafaa mimi nimekunulia, hata vile ako hivi nilipata amechaka, hata mimi ndio nalipa rent, they will say all manner of things and people will believe her. But and if you go out my brother Joseph uh -huh. Uh -huh. and also you start talking of the same to to people this woman i need more kota need find a bcd the fight will be big but I remember there is a time to me ajana uh -huh. na the issue was to me my side mm. i was Muli, fighting webungoja muliachana na bibi yako yeah wakati tulikuwa tunaachana unajua mm. ndoa mnaachana mnapeana space mm. and love narudi yani kuna because kitu hatuchajifundisha sisi kama wa afrika sio kama wazungu mm. mkikozana mm. yani kuna wakati mke wako anahitaji muda wake aenda pumzike kivi yake personal Ki, yani time yani time na kuna wakati mume anahitaji muda aha so Mugu, nini lifanyika shida inatokea ni hii ha. sasa hao mke anapoondoka siku hizi aende nyumbani kwao sasa ni mjini anaishi au mume sasa unajua hiyo sasa uwezo ukawa na yule waaminifu huyu mtu hizi siku amekaa nje mm. na amekuwa na nani ameishi wapi kwa sababu watu na ile kuamini kwa huyu mtu kweli atakuwa na mtu mke anasema hey, mwana bwanangu vile anaikuwa namjua anaangalia wanawake huyu ah kuna wanawake huyu mke wangu labda kuna wanaume kwa hivyo mimi nakumbuka wakati mmoja kulikuwa na shida sana. Na katika ile ndoa e, mke akitoka yeye unajua husema kawaida maneno. Huyu mm. mwanaume ako hivi busy because lazima ajaribu kuongea maneno ndio kwao akubariki kuchukuliwa wasimuweke makoza. Sasa mm -hmm. mimi in the other side I was fighting nikienda kwa 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 kwa, kwa, kwa marafiki zake na nini na jaribu ku point. 
unajua shida ilikuwa hii bwana nenda ongea na mwana mkarudi kwa nyumba sasa unaona mimi am in the point of let her come back mm. kama ni issue waza tusungumze but but Lakini, that, but that time ya yeah, kurudi back yeah. umeniambia you are doctor mm. as a christian ama mm. as a religious mm. hustahili kuwa mtu alafu mwambie that time ni mwambie enda kidogo pumzika na mimi niende kidogo hiyo that way no you don't tell eh? <laughs> but the truth when we come to profession that's why i said me am a pastor <laughs> and i'm a professional counselor <laughs> in professional kuna self time so is you are you you would advise someone mm. to have this self personal uh, time instead of uh, now kuachana hiyo ya kupigana na nini so just take a personal time, time. take personal time uh, this personal time don't need yeah. haswa what are you doing during this personal time mm. where are you sleeping who mm. are you hanging around with mm. are you meeting each other now that is why many managers when they give each other time they never come back you see like because of the personal time because mm -hmm. of the personal time because the way we use them is a different than like the way we needed them and the personal time of course should not exceed uh, a month that's why how long should they be to people walikuwa naondoka na mizigo wanaenda kwa like a man it 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 will not be you see if yeah. it is a man kama ni mimi niambia nikae one month nilikuwa nimezoea bibi mm -hmm. siwezi kaka kama sina mm -hmm. so ndachukua mpango wa kando nikae naye kwa nyumba labda hiyo mpango wa kando iko na ugonjwa so which will end up to this why in this particular ah. period there are a lot of challenges in marriage mm -hmm. by the way you know it's only that we don't accept uh, facts that is the fact in marriage we need time it is you know would what, this time kill you what, what, would this time kill your marriage because you now you've given each other listen. space mm. to rediscover other things now what i need to say here is mm. sacrifice is not something that you give when you are very happy when you you are giving comfortably like in church when we say you are giving a sacrifice it's something that will hurt you something that you feel like hey nisipeane mm. also sacrifice in that time because already where the marriage imefika ni kuisha inaisha what is the best solution na kuisha inaenda kuisha ni ile mbaya. Now you know most of marriages you look at the children you have and what you have done. Now here saizi hatuwezi kupeana hiyo muda kwa sababu gani? Wakati ule kitabo pipi alikuwa hata unapigia wasasi wako msichana wenyewe anakuja mfundisha ABCD. Anaenda kwa kwa ushago. Na sasa baadaye wewe unatuma wazee wanaenda kuongea hiyo maneno na saizi wana kupresent. Saizi pipi akienda anachukua nyumba para naishi na anachukua ramu hapa anamlipa rent. <laughs> Anajikuwa Joseph na anua chakula. Sasa eh? sasa tena wapi? Alafu hiyo sasa imefika kiwango saa hizi, uamini tena huyu mtu anapoishi peke yake hata sisi ndio maana unaona saa hizi imekuwa ngumu katika ndoa kuishi kwa sababu huyu mke anapoenda hujui anaishi na nani, hujui anakaa na nani. Unaona? Sasa tunaogopa huyu labda alikuwa wapi? Ndoa nyingi sikikosana saa hizi. Kurudiana ni ngumu sana. Aya, sasa what about unasema watu wanawachana lakini sio wote mm -hmm. wata, watachukua hiyo personal time uh -huh. wanapigana ndio uh -huh. lakini ikifika jioni mm -hmm. watalala mm -hmm. in the same same hey. bed hey. wanapigana and they are going through separation uh -huh. hao ngeleshani hao ngeleshani kuna bari hapo usivuke uh -huh. <laughs> it will never now that relationship it will never heal I have bishops eh? you know they don't look at my age or the level me i'm just a reverend in the church when mm -hmm. you talk about spiritual mothers but they normally come for my counseling. They have been in marriage for 50 years. Number of bishops, they sleep in this bedroom, the wife sleeps in another bedroom. And the children, they are in the same house. That's why unasikia watoto wamefika kiwango sikuizi. Yaani wa majuchungaji wanaharibika because they know what is happening and what their parents are preaching in the church. Mm -hmm. But mimi kusema kwangu doctor. Mm. Mimi ningesema there's no time to separate at one month or two weeks. That is mimi, not a separation. That is asking for time. It's okay, but mm. mimi ningetaka kusema vile Mm. kwetu tunasemanga kabila mm -hmm. afadhali mm -hmm. ile umba una, unajua mm -hmm. so ile umba unajua afadhali ukae nayo kwa nyumba mnasema mm -hmm. vipi kikwa kinini kwa lugha tunasema mm -hmm. uh, nikafa mm -hmm. nikafa guiri ya uwe mm -hmm. that is afadhali ile umba unajua mm -hmm. uh, wacha kuangalia hiyo ingine ama kupatiana time mm -hmm. kaa naye kwa nyumba kama uliamua mm -hmm. akushuka kupanda mm -hmm. be there better the devil you know better the devil you know Angel, you don't know <laughs> yeah wacha kupatiana time at end one month kuja at time na kama mnaishi kwa nyumba moja uh -huh. unasema una, in, inafaa mlale vipi yule kwa uh, room yake mwingine kwa room yake uh -huh. ama mnalale kwa kitanda moja how, uh -huh. how how best do you sleep with your husband or your wife uh -huh. during that time of separation wakati mnaachana uh, mimi ningetaka kusema hivi you are man mm -hmm. mwanaume don't behave like a lady wa mama wa mama sometimes mm -hmm. inaenda mama anakasirika anafanya nini you are man 
si wewe ulimtafuta mm-hmm. na wewe uli, mm-hmm. mm-hmm. ulimwambia nataka nikuoe hata mm-hmm. kama kuna namna gani mm-hmm. lala kwa hiyo kitanda mwambie hata kama hutaki kuniongeleza akienda kwa kiti Eda ulale hapo mfuate kama hiyo ndio iko but i will tell you one thing eh you know those things eh eh mfuate mfuate people will not come and talk them all mfuata but, but as, as a professional eh, counselor eh, eh. of course wakati bibi yangu aliondoka the first thing i did eh siku mtafuta unajua mimi siku muoa kwa street mimi nilienda kwao nyumbani nikaongea na wasazi nikamjukua so hata wakati aliondoka nilienda pia nyumbani nikaita wazee my uncles <laughs> nikaenda mpaka kwao so nika report mimi sijaona mke wangu so nimekuja kutafuta mahali nilimtoa na ulimchunguza mahali yako of course as a man lazima unachunguza na nini ni hilo nataka kufuata to the right protocol uh-huh. you know exactly mpaka mahali yuko kwani unaweza na hata siku moja vipi aka yuko kwa nyumba ni ngumu kama unampenda lakini kwa sababu utaki unaoja unaokenda kufata na rudi na nini mambo inakuwa mingi unapigana kwa hivyo eh. mtu as, af, anafaa kama mwanaume afuate mm. bibi yake kama Ziende, kama mfuate mfuate shida wanaume wengine you don't want to follow the you don't want the pride is high kiburi yako it is too much ama labda uko na samani mpango wa kando so unasema ukienda sisi kuna wengine number 2 the women they take advantage ndakuwa anaenda na nifuata So a man should go and tell her this is the last time the first time and the last time that I've gone to look for you. This is a lesson okay. to, to everyone who is watching. Okay. If you're going through separation, you're going through divorce, uh-huh. mna chana. Uh-huh. Let me talk to the man. Follow her. Yeah. Sindio? Uh-huh. Follow. Follow her. Call her. Uh-huh. Text her. Mm. Put your pride down. Yeah. Put your ego down. Yeah. But you know what you're doing? Uh-huh. You see like there's something you, you talked about a time eh? <laughs> the reason why there is uh, a lot of domestic violence in marriages yeah. it is because eh uh, mtu amekaa kuna mazira maybe ni mwanaume maybe we ni askari uko na mzigo ama kuleta punduki <laughs> ama nini alafu kuna mazira kila siku sasa siku moja ile itafura kabisa na utaondoka na utamfiatulia <laughs> lakini huyu mtu unaona ungempa yule muda vatali ndo ingeisha kuliko maisha ungefikia pale angalia hawa askari waliowana kwa sababu ya asira tu ile mwanaume wako pale wanachipishana mwanamke alimwambia mimi imeisha mwanaume aliposikia imeisha eh hii maisha tumekaa waenda kukaa na mwingine akamuua kwa hivyo ile time you better give that time kama mtaonana kama 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 mtarudiana it's well like lakini even a ready hata yeye ule mlembo hata mm. ule mke mm. na yeye ana style kujua mm. uh, mume wangu it's not after mm. uh, mkimizi tumesema tume, tume mahali pale tukianzia hii show mm. it's good to have love hata mm. we mke kuwa na upendo kwa mume wako mm. wacha kushinda mkivura na kitu kadogo chukua mizigo mm. uh, let me say my mom sijaiona ameenda nyumbani mm. babangu mm. walikuwa nakorushana hapo kwa bedo lakini hatukuwa tunasikia mm. so hata we mwanamke sema kama jasiri kwa nyumba yako mm-hmm. sema Man. siondoki mm-hmm. mwanamke mwanamke sema nimekuzaria kwa hivyo siondoki sasa <laughs> 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 <Itafuma. laughs> <laughs> unajua pia wa, 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 yeah. namna hiyo ndio nasikia mwanamke anasema umenikatalia hapa Maybe oh, kama mwenye kuna mpango akama mwingine. simba kwa nyumba ya nyumba ya ati unajifanya kwa nyumba yangu. Atakuwa baba. Au unasema mke unasema mimi sikiza dadi unasema mimi siondoki. Yeah. Na wewe mume unasema na mimi ni wewe nilipata. Yeah. So siwezi kuacha. Hata yeah. kama tumekosana. Yeah. Enda pale kwa ni siku moja yeah. kwa job. Yeah. Niliona niliona kwa video nyingine kwa kwa uh, Facebook. Yeah. Jamaa mwingine alisiyo kama ni acting kama ilikuwa nini. Yeah. Uh, bibi akasema sikutaki. Yeah. Chukua vilego vyako mm. uondoke. Mm. Mali yako chukua mm. ufanye nini? Uondoke. Mwanaume akaenda kambeba akasema wewe ni mali yako akaondoka <laughs> nayo. <laughs> Unasema kama mwanamke <laughs> ameambiwa <laughs> na, na, na na kama mke ameambiwa na bwana <laughs> toka uh-huh. mke anafaa sema sitoki uh-huh. mke anastahili kujua maana ulikuja si mimi kama mimi sasa uh-huh. nimeoa mchungaji mke wangu ni mchungaji uh-huh. nilimtoa kwake kwa nyumba kwao na kila kitu uh-huh. mke wako ni mchungaji mchungaji pasta pasta so sio ni haja ati sasa nikimwambia ondoka uh-huh. anachukua vidawa wacha nikuondoke hiyo uh-huh. ni kumaanisha hana upendo wangu uh-huh. na sasa kusema suri nitoa kwangu uh-huh. pa kitanda yangu na nguo zangu ziliondoka uh-huh. kwa hivyo the same same nilitoa na kitanda yangu kakuja hapo kuna chinzi anayesungumza kwa sababu <laughs> wana, wanaume wengi huwa kuna ile azira kawaida na pride kidogo wewe si utoke sija kufunga mwanamke pia aweze akaondoka sababu ulisema vile unajua hii kutolewa tunamaanisha <laughs> ni unamchapa hiyo ndio fire unafanya nini mm. kwa sababu kuna maneno ramu uliongelea kuhusu 
e, mke wako akiwa kwa kitanda we dada pale ni mwanaume akiwa wapi e, ni kweli mimi e, kuna wakati mwingi katika ndoa unajua hizi ndoa watu wanafikiri we ukiwa ni mshauri ni bishop ni pastor hazina tatizo Ahe. tatizo ni kwa kila mmoja hmm. kwa, kwa hivyo wakati yeah. mwingi uh, kuna wanawake mkiwa kama uko hmm. kwa kitanda ataondoka aende kwa kiti ukimfuata kwa kiti ataondoka aende pale hmm. au ataanza kukupiga kumshika hmm. na kupiga baadaye ina, inageuka inakuwa nini inakuwa vita alafu ah, kumaliza hmm. katika hiyo point Unajua we katika mnapokozana kwa nyumba saman you are the one to initiate communication. Ni, hata sisi tulianzia pale. Wacha kukimia tu sababu mke amekimia na ume kimia. No, we anzisha. Ta, we, sasa, kama mwanamume mm. ame tuseme makosa atuizi jo makosa ni nani hivi <laughs> haswa. <laughs> But uh, as a lady <laughs> you really love this man. Mm. Bana. Lakini hautaki muachane mm. na anasema utoke. Mm. Utafanya nini? Sasa ndugu zake dadake hebu ongeresha ume wangu. Waja kutumia ile kichwa. Kama we wa mko ana kanzani maybe mjungaji unaweza mpigia waachikanisha wale wale wasema na kama iko kanisani ndio nasema kama ikuwa. Pigia we wa una relationship na brother zake. Hauna relationship na dada zake. Hauna relationship na mother in law unaweza mpigia umwambie mimi naambiwa niondoke. Hebu ongea na na mimi na mimi mimi na mimi doctor siwezi pigia wazazi. Yeah. Mimi ndiyo nilikupata pale. Yeah. <laughs> ndio tulionana. Yeah. Hii ulimi. Yeah. Sasa si mdogo ni ulimi. Ati yeah. unasema mbona nipigie wazazi na wazazi hawakuwepo hawakuepo hawakuangi. Ah. Sasa ile tumekorofishana ndio mzazi kuja. Mbona sasa sio mwanaume unapiga, okay. huyu mwanamke anapoambia unisema asiondoke akae, eh. aseme ni kwake. Eh. Vita inaweza tokea. Hiyo tunaita domestic violence. To agree the best thing, let her use the initiators, the mediators like your brothers, your sisters. What about them? So, so, so the, mm. that is what the woman can do. Yeah. What about as a man? What as a man? As a man, uh, start okay the... Ukaye tu? Mwanamuka mikuambia ondoka. Mm. Ama, unajua mwanamuka 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 Yeah, utafaya nini? Wakati mwanamuka. Juhu, umesema? Kuna data sako wala unajua wanaingiana nae. Uh. Wafanye wazungumzo zienda kwa watu wa nje au si, ni kuharibu. Sino Jose anasema yeah. mimi nasema mimi nasema yeah. siwe ni Adam. Yeah. Mungu alikumba pale ukiwa maana. Kwani matamshi yako mm. wacha sasa kwenda pale kama kazini uko na tai mm. nimesema huku kutafanyika hivi. Mm. Si uko na ulimi. Si rusha maneno pale umuwini maneno. Kweli ni kuwa utamrusha box na maneno. Ah bana mkikosana ah. hivi mkikosana mke na mume au hakuna vile mtasungumza mpatane unless mkimiane zikuishe ndio ila zile irudi chini lakini ukuseme eti maneno matamu ndio wanawake wengine hawezi akataa kusikiza. Lakini mwanaume swaro your pride. Swaro your pride. Yaani unajua umwambie mke wangu unataka ni nilizi ya kufanyia. Mm. Mbube matamushi ambao utamurudisha. Vile ulimpata si mskuma. Mwanda umangapi wanasuwaru pride. As we say. Ndiyo tunasema saa hizi. Neta na ulize swale tena. Mm. Watoto. Mm. Mm. During separation. This thing called separation. Mm. <laughs> in effect mbaka watoto. Mm. How do you work through it in a way that watoto wasiumie? Sasa. Iyo nafikiri. Nikuwa ni meeshia katika ati kongine the other day. Nikasema kama mnaajana isiwe mnaajana kwa njia mbaya ile ambao mpaka watoto wanajua kila mmoja mnapigana kuna rights mm. unaweza kukaa muka agree eh mi naondoka naenda kwetu nimechoka na indoa muambie hapana kwa nini umechoka mjaribu kukaa kama itawezekana peana na vazi si mnaachana mm. lakini kwa sababu ya watoto ulizana swali hii mm. na che watoto watakuaje unajua most women akienda na kuhide kabisa kutoka kwa watoto lakini ikifika wakati mmeelewana kuwa na access ya watoto. Wanawake wanasema you don't take responsibility na acha na watoto. Na akupi na vazi ya kuona. Uta take responsibility wapi? Sometimes sometimes mm. inaweza kuwa mm. we mwanaume mm. wa watoto si wa kwako. Mm. Sometimes unakuta mtu anakunja na watoto, mm. anakuambia ma mm. ama anapata mimba na si yako. So utajuaje mtoto ni wako? For example, mm. ikiwa watoto ni wa kwako. Mm. Unastahili kuwa tumesema wewe mke ama wewe, wewe mzee wacha kupayuka hapo vita nini try to avoid wewe ndio utaweka mikakati ya kwako enda pale nyumba ya pazia mm. ambie watoto enda shule mafanya nini ita mke wako si uko na matamshi ambayo ni sweet na sasa mm. tunasema eh. maneno tunaongea haram si eti it okay kuko sana iko na reti iko juu ndio eh. mtu anasema umezungumza imezindikana aya sasa eh. na ulimi zindikana tafuta mbinu ya watoto muziwa weke katika hii mambo yenu kama mnaachana kwa na njia wewe unaweza kushinda na watoto mke wako anaweza kushinda nao na kila mtu wako maisha yake lakini watoto wasipate shida what about the scenario where u, ulimpata huyu mm. mwanaume mm. ama mke wako mm. kama yeye tayari ako na mtoto mm. 
mkaishi pamoja uh-huh. and you both said an, a, 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 another child uh-huh. acha tu nipate mfano ya kwamba mko na watoto wangapi wawili mmoja uh-huh. ni wako mwingine si wako uh-huh. na mnaachana uh-huh. mtafanya vipi ili hao watoto wawili uh-huh. wasijikuumia ah uh, mimi kila ningetaka kusema sana sana ah uh, don't show wewe ukiwa mke ama bwana uh-huh. wacha kuonyesha watoto uh-huh. ya kwamba kuna vita mahali katikati mm. ni vizuri unajaribu watoto wasijue maana watoto wakishajua hii kitu azaya itaingia ndani yao mm. na hata hao time yao ya marriage ndio nakuta separation inaingia maana mm. nyinyi wazazi mlionyesha watoto wenu vile vita inaendanga mm. na kwamba hakuna aibu mm. so unakuta hata hao waki grown up wakifikisha miaka 18 20 mm. the same same you did mm. is the same same watafanya na mm. na hiyo katika hiyo unazuruisha labda najua muda pia unakimbia mm-hmm. eh hao watoto huyu alikuta na mtoto na we ukasaa mwingine mm. sababu watoto hawajui mambo yenu mm-hmm. mambo yenu ya kukosana feature ni ya bedroom ulizana mambo yenu na wakati mnaachana because ya tukatai muziachane mm-hmm. mimi kama mchungaji nitakwambia muziachane mm-hmm. lakini kama professional nakwambia what do you feel hata eh. kwa bibi huyo tatu si utakwambia ni mbaya lakini kama mchungaji eh. mchungaji unasema si nzuri watu kuachana no matter what going through work through it uh-huh. yeah. but now there are some men are, are some women who will say mm. that kama tunachana tuachane lakini mimi nita i will take care of my child mm. mimi naangalia tu masuala ya mtoto wangu uh-huh. ile ambayo tulipatana nayo uh-huh. nilikupata nayo uh-huh. shida yako ndio uh-huh. maana nasema hiyo wakati mnaachana uzionyeshe watoto lakini kuchukua na wawili keti mwambie si unajua ukweli mtoto wangu ni huyo ndio uh-huh. kwa hivyo mimi mtoto wangu nitachukua responsibility ni sawa eh pia huyu wewe na yeye akubali mtoto wake atamtekea responsibility ama atatafuta mabaki lakini si uchungu kwa sababu ni chungu kwa sababu huyu mtoto sasa ume you've, you've abandoned that child because they're not yours tell me mumeachana pipi ameenda kwao most cases kama watafika 18 years ameenda mm. na watoto wote mm. probably utakuwa unateke wale watoto responsibility kwa utakuwa wewe unatuma pesa kwa mtoto wako hata shule utakuwa unafunza yeye lakini there is a question here ningetaka mm. kuuliza ukipenda ule mke mm. ulimpenda na tunasemanga kwetu katika tradition mm. ukimpenda unapendaga mpaka ile 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 kamokwa ile kamba mm. yake mm. so kama unampenda unampenda na kila kitu sasa so this... baba tusidanganyane katika hii national television kwa sababu <laughs> kama unaoa mke hana mtoto mlipendana <laughs> na hana mtoto lakini upendo ule ukiisha hata utaki kujua vile anakula na rara umfanyie chochote upendo umeisha si mmeachana mmeseparate ama mmeachana lakini huyu ushughuliki vile anaishi na anakwambia hata na maisha yangu sasa je mtoto ambao si wako ndio utakumbuka wacha nikwambie yeah. uh, tukikaa kama ile kizazi ya kitabu sana ili ya zamani tuko ile kikazi tuko ya sasa tuko ya sasa, sasa. Tuko ya sasa. Yeah. sasa lakini sasa. ustahili kusema yeah. atisi tafikile ule mtoto yeah. Aya for example mlikuwa mnakaa vizuri mm. mimi nimezaa na wewe mtoto mmoja na umekuja na mwingine mm. si ati kwamba akienda nyumbani utatumia mtoto wako sasa yeye wewe adamu mm. atutamtumia yeye hautatumia mwingine no you are supposed Mwingi to be a man na baba yake ndio maana no. sasa tumefika kiwango unaona ramu sasa tumefika kiwango eti ukiwa mwanamke kuna mtoto unaanza kumwambia sitaki ni kuona ukiongea na baba mtoto sitaki ni kuona ukiwa nini waza nikwambie sasa hizi vile tulisema hakuna upendo mwanamke anaishi na wewe kwa sababu ya what you can provide and what you can give that's why naambia mtu hivi kama ule papa alikuwa na take responsibility ya watoto wake wawili watatu ulimwoa nao ruhusu weka mikakati wacha papa ya watoto aendelee kuongea na wao you can only be a supportive father but you will never be a biological father of these children and pay in your mind that never at any given time ku separate our watoto na baba yao but mimi kwangu ile view ningetaka mimi mm. kwa view yangu doctor yeah. mimi kama ningepata mtu ambaye kuna mtoto anioe mm. na nipate mwingine wa kwangu yeah. mimi kwangu yeah. ninge take responsible mimi mm. wanawake wengi i think they can support me katika TV mm. nowadays mm. mimi saa hizi nikioa mtu ambaye kuna mtoto mm. i'll be able either wende nitasikia kuna kidonda mahali maana umeenda na mtoto wa kwangu mm. na uko na mwingine so nikikutumia nitakutumia ni kuambia support the children si ati patia wa kwangu <laughs> do you know no. some men they don't send even for their children because and that's them pale unaishi that is si, a problem nilitoka kwangu mm. pale unakaa na ule alikwambia utoke wacha wanaishi wacha pia nisema ya kwamba hata mm. kama tunasema wanaume mm. pia wanawake pia wanafanya haya maneno Aha. because there are some women who have abandoned their children <laughs> wamemwacha kwa baba <laughs> Ato kwa sababu tuliachana mimi sitaki mambo ya mwanaume na watoto wake. Mm-hmm. Anaenda na anaoa mtu mwingine. Mm-hmm. Na mtoto anauliza mamia yako wapi? Mm-hmm. Timamia mamia yako na mtu mwingine. Mm-hmm. Hiyo pia si ni shida. Hiyo bado ni shida hata mwanamke unaacha watoto. Hata wewe 
jichuguze kwanza atubasema uh, ule mtoto tulipata na bebe ndio tutakuachia huyu mwingine hautaniachia so unakuta separation it's too much let me let, let me get into this <laughs> maswali ni mingi wakati watu wanaachana kwa sababu ya ya, ya pesa utapata that nowadays even celebrities <laughs> wala ambao wanajulikana public figures <laughs> wanaachana wana <laughs> shida iko wapi kwa, kwa sababu shida si issue pesa ama nini mtu kama huyo tunaita the richest guy number four katika world wameachana juzi ni pesa ni biggest si kuna pesa ni pride hey, sasa, unajua hizo sasa... nyingi wanawake hata kama mnawatetea ndio wanaleta shida mwanamke anafika kiwanga naona i can do this you know pd gets was investing in his uh, names nao mwanamke anaona ni nini anasema eti tumefika miaka 27 naona tutaendelea kuishi eh, i move on you move on ni nini imewakosanisha uh... eh? namba ya pili saizi wanawake wengi ndio naambia watu saizi advise na peana as much as a woman can support you never allow her to support you more than 20% as okay. never allow her to do what to your woman uh, to, to support to, to support your vision so much because when mutakosa na kidogo how work no you are supposed no. to be 50-50 It's not even 50 <laughs> Some women size for example, they are run. Unajua size tukiingia kwa social media ama kali ile tunaka. Tunaishi. Sometimes kabla women anaweza kuwa ako ako land hata kuliko. Wewe unafanya vitu kitu wakari, amesoma kidogo. So you you are man, you are supposed to give a woman. Hiyo person anamwambia 50%. Niambia hapa tunaweza fanya vipi. Lakini wewe man unataka kusema lakini lakini labda. Eh, hiyo swali wacha niweke vizuri ndio eleweke. Unajua mwanamke anaweza kuwa na hand kukuliko. Mwanamke anaweza kuwa ako in in ana hauli. But unaweza kuwa unanunua gari uko na milioni moja. Na unamwambia niongeze 200 nichukue gari. Lakini unajua wakati anapotoka pale yeye anasema unaona hii gari ana drive mimi ndio nilinunua. Sio wewe sababu kuna 20% But there is a woman ambao wana wewe mwanaume hauna kazi kwa unauza na ni sawa mtu kuoa kuolewa kama bibi wa pili kama mke wa pili kama mke wa pili kusema mtu anasema um tulachana na wa kwanza let me get married as a second wife iko sawa haiko sawa kwa sababu gani huyu mwanamke ameenda kuharibu ameshindwa kutunza ndoa yake ama mwanaume hmm. sasa wewe unaenda kuolewa pipi wa pili uoni unaenda kuharibia ule pipi ya kwanza ndoa yake unasema nini Joseph but the same case kama msikizana huyu wa kwanza hmm. utakaa kama ule alikuwa anaitwa sijui ni Paulu miaka yako hmm. kama uko na pressure for example there is a preacher sitaki <laughs> kumtaja kwa kwa, 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 kwa kwa tv hmm. there is a preacher in Kenya we know hmm. Bibi yake wa kwanza wali separate. Mm. Wewe zikawa hapo kama matope. Na no, utaoa, si manisi uoe. Eh? Una utaoa. Mm. Ah, Lakini yeah. unapooa, usiende kuoa pipi ya mtu wa jaja. Waacha tumalize hapo. Na mbuke usiende kuolewa na mtu wako na tafuta mtu wa jaja. Lakini si mbaya, unajua ukiwa mwanaume na uko na fresh na blood. Mimi nasema kwangu saizi nikisema. Eh. Wewe kama mambo imezidikana, si sehemu yati kukaa hivyo katika our country. Mm. Imezidikana. Na saizi wanaume wako pale pale. Uweze ambia wanaume wa jiwakari washinde pale pale. Saizi ukiona mtu ambaye labda bafu yako labda ile ilikuwa pia pressure mm. uliona mwanaume eh hey, amesimama mm. ako na gari ukaishikia right. pata La, thank you so much gentlemen <laughs> tuachie maneno hapo at least in the because of the interest of time <laughs> we have to uh, wind up this conversation mm. there now before i do that remember mm. when i started i said that i'll call somebody mm. last week we had a competition why to five was standing for and we had a winner and this winner is uh, uh, one person who uh, you know participated in our conversation last week we asked the question uh, 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 to, for him to comment on uh, to, to give us the names of uh, for why 254 male presenters so let me call him all right hello how are you i'm fine aha uh -huh. am i speaking to john gitau wangari yeah you are speaking to john gitau wangari yeah john habari yako ebu tafadhali uh, turn off the, the the volume of your tv Yeah. Yeah, sauti ya TV chini kidogo. Asante sana. Thank you so much John. Um you participated in our competition last week. Why 254 turned for and I'm proud to say that you are our lucky winner. Um have you received your cash prize? Yeah, I've received 500 cash shilling. <laughs> How do you feel my brother? 
Thank you so much. Yeah. Yeah. Keep it uh, power talk and leo kutazama kipindi. Uh-huh. Ni mwana wewe ni fan moja unakumbua unakomment kila wiki Yeah, I comment every day ah. I, Even hiyo siku niri brokiwa kukomment ah. Ah. Eh. Asante sana, Asante sana. Ah, Thank you Mungu kubariki, keep it Y254 uh, You too ah, Me too <laughs> that is John Wangari. Wow. Thank you so much uh, John for mm. your participation. Uh, remember Y254 turn for um mm. we value your presence. Thank you and we would like to appreciate each and every one of you. Thank you for being our loyal viewer. Mm. Well, that is what brings us to the end of this show today. We were talking about separation and I'd like to end with a quote that is coming up on the top of your screen coming up there. Uh uh-huh. No the um, all right. Um, divorce isn't. This is the, by just Jennifer uh, Weiner. Divorce isn't such a tr- tragedy. A tr- uh, tragedy is uh, staying in an unhappy marriage, teaching your children the wrong things about love. Nobody mm. ever died of divorce. True. Mm-hmm. Ah, yeah. true. And I would like to end up with yet another quote: the, uh, "Separation is not the end of love." Mm-hmm. That's what I say. Separation yeah. is is not the end of love. Mm-hmm. It creates love. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's very true. Thank you so much, Dr. Thank you. That is Dr. Robert Osoro. We cannot c- continue from there. I, I want to do... wish my son happy birthday day. Today is celebrating his 14 years uh, uh, in this uh, opportunity. All right. I appreciate for the opportunity to and invite I, us here. And, and I wish my son wisdom. Mm-hmm. Robert, a happy party day, 14th, 14 years today. Asante sana. And thank you for the opportunity. Thank you, Dr. Yeah. Robert Osoro. Uh-huh. Just a drama. Just a drama. Uh-huh. Vindio. Asante sana. <laughs> Asante, daddy. Na shukuru. Na mimi nigetaka kuambia mtu wangu. Hey. Keep lock up. Wa stoke hapa kwa 254. Uh-huh. Hapo diyo mitamu. Asante sana. Uh-huh. Thank you so much. May God bless you. God bless the work of your hands. Uh-huh. See you again uh-huh. next week. A repeat of this show is coming up tonight at 10 p.m. My name is Ram Maguko. This is yes. power uh, talk yeah <laughs>